Pipedrive users just got the one feature that I've seen most requested. You had to choose between clunky automations that weren't built for cadences or sequences, or you had to pay for outreach or sales loft, or usually what would happen is you would lose your way as you're going through using Pipedrive activities, trying to keep track of all these different interactions and run through a process. But now Pipedrive has finally launched sequences and it's still in beta. So by the time you see this, some things might've changed, but it's exactly what sales teams have needed. This update offers step-by-step -step workflows that are easy to enroll people in, enroll deals in. It offers personalized emails and follow-up tasks, and it's built right into your pipeline, which means no more opportunities falling through the cracks. And it isn't really great for prospecting yet because it's only for deals. And if you have a prospecting pipeline that could still work for this, let me show you how Pipedrive's brand new sequences feature turns your CRM into a sales cadence engine that isn't just automated spam and that lets you add a human touch. So here in sequences, under the pulse section of Pipedrive, you'll see there's a brand new feature and it's still in beta, but you'll be able to set up easy to follow step-by-step -step processes for your sales team or for yourself. Let's do this together so you can see what it looks like. Go to add a sequence and they have a few basic templates and I'm sure this will grow over time. There's three of them here. The main two use cases are engaging with new clients or converting leads. Since Pipedrive is generally more of a sales tool instead of a onboarding or operations tool, let's go with convert leads. Let's say that we have leads coming into Pipedrive, we're connected through our web forms on our website or using the lead booster part of Pipedrive or through the API, we're pulling in or manually adding them into Pipedrive. So we have new leads who've raised their hand and reached out to us. And let's make sure that we're not, without adding lots of stages in our pipeline, which is one of the things this can do, is run a process without adding multiple stages because we're just adding a few different contact points, emails, LinkedIn, phone calls, et cetera, activities and pipe drive. So let's choose this template and you kind of see how it works. So there's only five emails on this one. You can see this one has a follow-up call as an option. So let's start with the convert leads one, but let's add a call in here because these are all just draft emails. So let's click select template on convert leads. Just to get you an idea of how this works, the only way to see how this is going to work for you is to dive in here and, and play around with it. You're probably going to turn on this email when email is replied to. Once someone's replied to an email, it'll kick them out of the sequence. So you don't have to remember to remove them, which is one of the downfalls of any type of automation. The making sure that leads are removed from a sequence, or in this case, deals or opportunities, new inbound leads, that they are removed at the appropriate time. So they don't get irrelevant emails or outreach. Let's look at this welcome email. We have a new lead. You might want to just let the, depending on the way this is set up, you might want to say that thanks for reaching out. I'll be calling you tomorrow. And maybe if you'd like to book a meeting, that kind of thing here in this draft email. Right now, the way this works is you add a deal to the sequence. There's not another way for this to happen and it doesn't happen automatically. So maybe the first step in this case is it comes through a web form and you're going to look at the information you see there. And if it looks like a legitimate lead, then you add them to the sequence. And so then they, you, they can get this initial welcome email, get kicked out automatically. And then let's say if you want to have an activity set up, we get, it looks like we only have five steps here. Let's delete an email. And then let's say if you want to add a call, let's say we're going to call this person pretty quick, assign it to the deal owner and new lead call to book meeting. So we're almost done setting this up. You can see this is the type of activity as a call, which is perfect. Let's click save. And now you can see there'll be a welcome email kicked out immediately. Then for example here, there'll be an activity set for the call type of activity to follow up and it'll be called call website lead and it'll be assigned to whoever the deal owner is. I still have to play around with this more. It's in beta, it's brand new, but I think that this is probably going to be the most popular use case for companies using Pipedrive will be to follow up with inbound leads using sequences.
we can see so far there are zero deals in this out of the 50 that we can add at one time to a sequence. And let's go over to deals. For the sake of an example, over here you can see that we can add a deal to the sequence. So let's check this, select the sequence that we just created and you can see the steps right here. It's immediately gonna send that welcome email and then 15 minutes later, it'll add this the task to call and a call activity type. So let's add that and it's going to immediately try to send that email to John Smith. Now we have this mind bend deal added to the sequence. So this is the way your team would use this is we have, we have some sequences set up for common workflows that we have, you know, in this case, a new lead coming in and we need to make sure that they're called and emailed and followed up with. And we try to move them to the next stage. If our next stage is the book a meeting or book a demo or book a plant tour or book a, whatever the next step is in your world. And this will help make sure things don't fall through the cracks. The goal is to move from a system of record a boring CRM into a system of action, a workflow, a series of steps that reps and other team members can easily follow to get the results that they want. So there's in with this new tool, there's really two main use cases that I see, and it's not prospecting right now, although adding a pipeline specifically for prospecting could be aligned with this for some low volume prospecting activity that isn't really the best for that, but it is great for these two things. It's great for engaging new clients. Maybe there's a kickoff call that needs to be scheduled and there's some, a series of steps and activities and calls that need to happen as soon as a deal is moved to closed one. So that's a great use case for this. Another one would be for engaging new leads. There's inbound leads, people who've raised their hand and reached out and then run them through a sequence. And all of this isn't meant to, to spam or to carpet bomb. This is meant to add a human touch to make sure that you're following a predictable process in your, within your CRM, within your sales, within your uh, new client engagement, for using sequences. And if you'd like to take a big picture look at your overall revenue engine, your CRM and the associated processes in your company, I've created a free assessment called the Revenue Top Priorities Assessment. You'll find that at crm.coach or in the uh, description here in the, in the video. And uh, let me know how you like the pipe drive sequences feature.